Praise the Lord, my friends. Praise the Lord. I just want to make a quick video about the importance of spending time with Jesus, spending time with God. Life can get busy sometimes. And in that busyness, sometimes we kind of neglect to spend time with the Holy Spirit. But dear friends, nothing is so important in this life that is worth neglecting spending time with your God. I don't care what job you do. You could be a plumber. You could be a garbage man. You could be a lawn cutter. Someone who cut lawn. You could be a doctor. A lawyer. Whatever you are. Whatever gifts you have. Whatever ability God has given you to contribute to society. Always remember. That don't allow those gifts. To take you away from God. Where all that your focus is on is to make the next paycheck. We all have to work. We all have to provide for our families. Yes, we do. But it's not an excuse to neglect your creator. So while we're working and while we're providing for our family, let us always remember always remember that we can spend time with Jesus. We can spend time with God while we're going through all of that. While we're, while we're out there in the hustle and bustle of life. In Matthew 4 verse 4 it says man shall not live by bread alone. Meaning your purpose for being created it's not for you just to come on the earth and just work and work and work just so you can have food in your stomach just so you can provide for your family. It says man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from God. Meaning that the God that created us he has given us words commandments instruction on how to live this life. And when you obey his words. You will feel most fulfilled in life. People are always longing for fulfillment. What is this life all about? I, I feel depressed. I feel I feel sad. I have to get up and go to work. And I when I go to work I have to work long hours. What is it all about? Your fulfillment comes from God. If you feel that you are, you know, just not happy, you always got to ask yourself, are you just operating by living daily just to make a bread to eat? Are you just working, working, working just so you can have something to eat? And are you neglecting the other part? The obedience to God's word. You see, yes, we work, yes, we do, and contribute to society. But the most important thing in our lives is spiritual. The most important thing is that you have a relationship with God. That's where you will get your joy from. That's where you'll get your happiness from. That's where you get your peace from. Why? Because when you are walking with the Holy Spirit. You're living in the spiritual realm. Meaning that while you're you're still here, but your heart is in heaven. Your hope is in heaven. So no matter how hard life gets, you have a home, you have a kingdom, you have a God, and you know that this life, even though it gets hard sometimes, this is not all there is. No, 
this is not all there is. God has prepared a place for all of his children, all of his children, and he will come and take his children to heaven one day. So, who are you living for? What are you living for? Are you just living for bread, just to work and work and work? Or are you living for the kingdom to come? While you're at work, you're thanking God, you're praising God, you're singing songs to God, you're, you're blessing His name because you know that there's a kingdom that's coming. There's a kingdom that's coming. So let's prepare. Let's always focus on the things of God and be reminded that this is not your home. This is not your home. If you're a Christian, this is not your home. <laughs>